Hey guys, it's Scott here from Horse Racing Daily, and today's video is going to be about the horses that raced at Royal Ascot this past week. You had four horses that were nominated to Breeders' Cup when you're in races, so even though it's been a fairly quiet week on the race in America, the Royal Ascot, you know, had a, a race and had a really big impact, you know, at the end of the year. And we're going to get into those races, but we're going to start first with the uh, Norfolk Stakes and the Riddler. And I really want to show you the video of this ride because it's very, uh, this horse I think should have been disqualified. And, you know, we'll cut ahead and, you know, this horse is going to be racing on the, you know, far outside on the, you know, backside of your screen. And you're going to see, you know, coming up here at the end of the race, this horse just, is going to completely wipe over and pretty much take out a horse I thought that looked like was going to win the race. As you know, watch this horse in the green silks over here on the right. And he's going to start coming up and, and making his move. And right about the time he starts to make his move, you know, your eventual winner over here by eight is just going to, you know, pull the maximum security of the Kentucky Derby and, you know, start taking out these horses. And, you know, to me, this horse in the green should have won, but instead by he completely cut him off, or I'm sorry, the Riddler cut him off and, you know, just completely cost him his chance to win. And so I'm going to have a hard time playing that horse maybe going forward just because it looked like he was, you know, maybe giving out a steam towards the end of that race. You know, it is a two-year-old race, so the form could, you know, improve towards the you know, end of the year, and, you know, he couldn't have won in the Breeders' Cup, but for now, after seeing that ride, um, I don't know how they gave the horse the win, but he should have been taken down, and, you know, somebody else been put up there, and the second horse we're going to talk about is State of Rest, who's going to, you know, be racing in the Long Jeans Turf Race, you know, in the Breeders' Cup, and, you know, this horse, you remember, because he came over last year and won the Saratoga Derby, as a three-year-old, you know, they had their own, you know, recently started the Turf Triple Crown Series, you know, up in Naira with Belmont, Saratoga, and all that. So, that horse came up and won that race. And then, it's like as soon as he won that race, this horse kind of found his form. You can see before the race, he just kind of, you know, would run second, fifth, fourth. He's always in the money, it seemed like, but not really a winner. Then after that race, it must have gave him the confidence or something just clicked in the horse, He's, you know. Started winning, you know, grade ones after that. And, you know, this horse can very much be a contender in the, you know, Breeders' Cup for the end of the year. And that's going to bring me to my, you know, next horse. And uh, that's going to be Baid, who is uh, racing in the FanDuel Mile. And I absolutely like this horse's chances in the uh, mile race. I think the turf division is, as a whole is kind of weak this year. For American horses, so a horse like Bayid, who is just, you know, racked up win after win after win. You know, this, this horse could make a lot of noise in the Breeders' Cup. And I, I really think if, unless he loses, you know, there's, he's probably going to race another time or two between now and then. And he could certainly lose and that make, you know, mess up the odds a little bit. But if he keeps winning, I think you're looking at your favorite for the, you know, the uh, turf race in the Breeders' Cup coming up. So I'd very much keep this horse on your, you know, radar as I think the American field of turf horses is fairly weak this year. And that's going to bring us to uh, last, but certainly not least. And that is Nature Strip. And Nature Strip is just a, a beast of a horse. He's a, a older horse. He's, I uh, believe, eight years old. And, you know, all this horse does is you know, win 21 out of you know, 38 live times, seven seconds and a third. And, you know, we'll click, you look over the, you know, when it's grade one after grade one, you, you know, he comes over from uh, Australia. And, you know, in this race, he beat Golden Powell, who was the top American, you know, sprinter, won the Breeders' Cup last year. Wesley Ward, you know, for the race, was saying that he was the best horse he's probably ever trained. So this is going to be a very impressive win by Nature Strip. And, you know, we're going to, you know, watch that race. And, you know, he's going to take his spot, you know, towards the front. And the easiest way to track him coming up is look at the loose horse, you know, running in the middle of the uh, screen. 
and nature strips kind of you know pretty much keep this horse company in the last portion of the race but i think this was a, a very decent fill that nature strip beat you know it had our own breeders cup winner from last year so you know the field's solid the horse is solid uh he is an older horse they do wonder how long maybe he could you know hold his form but you know anything can happen between now and then but i do think after this race this horse certainly has to move up on the list of you know with high probability chances of winning the breeders cup but anyways that's the horses for this week for the ascot that you know were nominated to the breeders cup uh thanks for watching guys